Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Recursive Ruin. Um, I really don't know how to introduce this game, but uh, key provided by uh, Iceberg Interactive. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, bud. Yeah, this is this is going to be a weird one, and and I'm going to love this. Recursive Ruin is a narrative game which includes mature content. You have been warned. I would uh, advise uh, people with um, maybe uh, epilepsy issues. To, to, you know, have caution. And I don't say that with jest. I... Yes. Oh. Yes. On the threshold of strange aeons. Uh, is this... Triangle on, uh, for the PS4? I find, um, fractals to be... Truly disturbing. It's like uh, cranking up liminal disturbance up to 11 for me. I have I have picked up the chip. Are we all just uh, entropy? Is that is that what's going on here? I've been taking work home lately. They tell me I'm talented and the money's okay, but honestly, drawing for the agency isn't how I thought it would be. All right, are we putting chip in wall? Memory playback Man, I, I just feel like any second now a Sufjan Stevens album is going to start playing. Dark Ashes of Yggdrasil, the Hypermind Nexus. I feel like I've been there. Like, like me, in real life. Wait, is that in California? I haven't been there. Oh, I don't like that. I'm 100% not okay with that. All right, well, throw it in the bin with the others. That's some genuinely amazing art. Nah, I don't like where this is going. Now you're gonna make me feel bad about my cats. The cat is talking to me. Where am I jamming this disc? I would assume here, but it, oh. All right, are we, uh, how many layers deep are we going here? Is this, is this hence recursive? Citadel, which stands at eternity. Yo, this game's got a look. Take me by the hand into your cosmic cloak, whole face. Rana. Let's see what you can do. Think you can find your way out of this room? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we doing cube puzzles? Aw, oh, heck yeah, bud. I love cube puzzles. Okay, buddy. Uh, e hmm. I gotta say, as far as fractal landscapes go, this is one of the most chill ones. It's like Cloud City fractal lands. Not as easy as it seems. Well, I don't know. What am I trying to do? Hey, he's not playing his violin on the next, uh, incursion. Let's see if One of these is different. Oh, God. Uh... So, I really like this music. This is the kind of game, just looking at it, I I could totally be okay not solving any puzzles. This is really something. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, see, this is the liminal disturbance I was talking about. I don't like this at all. It creeps me out. I don't like it. The world repeats here. Look all around, above, below, behind, and don't forget something, something.
What? What was that? What? Where am I? Oh, this is this is quite the trip, isn't it? Am I trying to get into there? Oh, we have we have new things to play with. New cubes. Can I can I spawn that again? This is um honestly this is even better than I thought it was going to be. I did not expect this. I expected the unexpected, but I did not expect this. I'm uh, I'm very much lost in fractal land and I'm kind of okay with that. I am uh, I'm super grateful to be playing this right now to be real for a moment. All right. did they do? I made the uh, the angels sing harder. So there's a, a little bit of a disconnect when you're moving from layer to layer. And I know that, like, there can't not be, right? Because you are literally growing or shrinking, whatever the case may be. Don't forget to shift the world. I won't forget. How could I forget something like that? I accomplished this. Oh. Okay, we are inside now. We're inside the fractal land. Sometimes you'll need to interact with the repeated world. Look inward. Uh, okay. Okay. Alrighty. Yes. I understand. I see all the colors. This has got to be one of the coolest, like... I don't want to cheapen what I'm what I'm experiencing right now uh, by calling it something like a gimmick, but like you know, first person puzzle games we've seen it all, right? You know, we've seen a lot of things. We've seen cubes and portals, and 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 we've seen laser beams, and we've seen puzzles that will rack your brain, and uh, you know, question existential crises, questioning what AI you know could be the thing, and there's a lot, a lot of. Um, first person puzzle games but I think this has got to be one of my favorite uh, novelties in terms of, of what a first person puzzle game can can be oh I did it look inward what happens when I pick this up oh we uh, we have a oh can we make it bigger wait that didn't make it bigger that made it the same it shrunk. It shrunk, though. It, sh it it grows. It's a fractal cube. It, it understands what it wants to be. Try walking through that force field, okay? Uh, I'm assuming this is like a, a aperture force field. Yeah, exactly what, what it is. Okay. So, but we can possibly... Yes, there's a window here. Here we go. Now you're thinking with fractals. What happens if I press... Sh okay, I mean, I only have to ask, but... I have a habit of getting caught. <laughs> what do you mean getting caught? I don't know where I'm going, oh, my whole face, dude. Okay. Shrink. Oh. All right, into the cosmic tunnel we go. Can I grow in here? Can't fit. Can I shift? I can, but I mean, we we all we're we're, we're shifting a very specific part of the world. We're not, sh you know, shift shifting whatever we want. Shifting the world may block our or grant access to areas. I mean, that makes sense. Weird. 
Weird that that piece of fractal cheese would block that very specific part. There you go. Can I can I shrink in here? Maybe, but I can't get it, get up there yet. Cube time. I like the cube. Um, all right. I think I think we're we're dropping it into this hole over here. Maybe. Felt like the right kind of hole to drop things in. Or maybe not. Oh, we're, we're falling into this thing. There we go. I think that was the right hole. What would happen if you shrank while holding the cube? Indeed, what would happen? The cube knows what size it wants to be. You'll need to travel in strange directions. Take a leap of faith. That's all I have been doing. So the cube is over there. I want the cube. Uh, surely that was not what I wanted. Is this what I wanted? I don't think this is what I wanted. I think maybe this is what I wanted. I, apparently that's that is what I wanted. I, so the cube um, stays with me. It stays uh, the right size. I know the name of that. This is a particular kind of mineral. It's not a naturally occurring one, as I understand it. Maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. Don't. Oh. Oh. Nanagon Infinity opens the door. Nanagon Infinity opens the door. Oh. Okay. I, 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 not by choice, do you understand? I don't- No! I don't understand. I'm kind of tempted to leave it there, but I, I kind of want to see a little bit more. More memories. Memories. Don't be weird. Don't be creepy. I don't like that. I don't like it when you're creepy and weird. You ever wonder why I visit Earl so often? Well, this here is the family business. Just don't tell your mom. It's called crack cocaine. <laughs> oh my god. Multiple discs? Are we back in the 90s? I remember. I remember. Please say yes. Do we do we really want to go back to the 90s? Listen, as much as I enjoyed, uh, you know, purple ketchup and, uh, you know, weird commercials and all that, I, I didn't really enjoy having to fish out the second disc for a game. Whoa, new area, new look. Who dis? I could just like do this a couple of times. I'm sure half my audience would puke and eventually so would I, but it's neato skeeto, okay? I, um, I can't really get over the, the look of this. It's really something. Maybe I can jump and then, no, you can't jump and shift. That would be, that would be pretty good though. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff going on underneath. Can I jump over here? Oh, it was that easy. I just, I really didn't, it didn't occur to me. I'm honestly just really enjoying the music. Like, it's, it's, it's a really calming tune. I don't know. Okay, what do we, what do we do in here? Oh, there's a, okay, we shrink. We shrink now. Uh, all right, I'm assuming that this is not going to be it. I guess it is it. Maybe? 
Mm, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you only have like two forms of interaction and I, I often forget them. I am, I am so very lost right now. Who can tell? Can you tell if you're moving forward or if you're just like recursing? What is that? That's not a word. I know that's not a word, but like, you know, like reoccurring. Am I reoccurring right now? A am I incepting? Hey, I saw this show. Am I gonna have to play red light, green light? Now you tried to run Crisis on the Fractal Cube, right? Mm. Cube. Oh, I need, I need to, I need this guy to see me actually. Can I throw it at him? Oh, he'll, the, oh it watches the, the laser beam. So if it sees that, then we're fine. We're all good. Okay. Oh, I see. I want to, I want to throw it over to the bridge. There we go. So now if I throw it up, it should be okay, right? Yes. We did it. I got the cube. So now what do we do with it? Hey, this isn't gonna work. Maybe, maybe I can get rid of this force field here. Oh, the force field is part of this. So yeah, I can get rid of the force field. And then I can I can yeet it to the other side. Oh, he's done it. Eggs are given care, siphoning off blood and gray matter. Over time, which grows ever stranger, the eggs begin to hatch, spewing forth. All right. Okay. Now, whoa. This was a recursive ruin. This is uh, kind of incredible. I think uh, I think there's some themes in in this game that maybe feel a little dissonant to the actual mechanics of the game, but um, I do I do really like this, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.